It's just so I don't forget. Okay. okay. Come here on your ready now. Okay, that's good. That's, that's good to go, yeah. The triple spiral, you'll see it in different forms, but here it's breast and moon. Fertility. It symbolizes fertility of imagination and creativity as well as just fertility of our giving birth. This is the cauldron, the cup, the grail, the chalice, which is the symbol of generosity, giving. And the, the woman the woman is a natural giver. And, uh, and her womb keeps filling, you see. And then you have the salmon, and the salmon is on bread on fast, and the salmon of wisdom. And you'll notice here that you have the yin and the yang. It divides up the yin and the yang, so it's a symbol of everything. The same, which is what the spiral is too, because the mound creates the furrow, and the furrow contains the mound. It's not, if you just draw a spiral, if you just draw a spiral. But when you carve it, it's a different kettle of fish. Now, the, the harp symbolizes culture, music, poetry, and so on. The leaves are for growth. Now, the two ravens are foresight and hindsight. Odin fished and stole these two ravens on the woman, and he called them thought and memory. But the woman's uh, ravens are foresight and hindsight. Now, round out here you have the moon. That's the woman's stellar body. The moon has the same uh, phases as the woman. And this is the hair. It's the Irish hair now. And it's uh, for Mishniach. Mishniach has the meaning of courage. There's nothing to do with 16 inch biceps kicking in the nuts courage. <laughs> this is Mishniach, guts, uh, guts, bottle, uh, nerve. And the hair needs every bit of it. Because every dog and devil and wolf is after it. <laughs> The heron, straightforward, patience and common sense. Now, cat, this, this could be a pine mark, or this is actually a, a domestic cat, cunning and beauty. And then you have the three phases of the woman again, Colleen Dine Collier, virgin mother and hag, the ultimate power of the woman. Uh, woman, girl, woman, old woman, three ages which all women carry within them. Now the wolf is different. It's different from the rest of them here. The wolf actually is the guardian. And uh, the, the, the Brehen, under Brehen law, a high-born woman was entitled to a personal bodyguard. Mm -hmm. Now he could be a wolf or a bear or a boar or something, but it was most often the wolf, Mokchira, son of the land, the, the brother. And he would have no loyalty to anyone except the woman. He would protect her even from her own family, which seems redundant when you think of honour killings when your own brother might be a worst enemy, you know. So this, this is, you have to look, read between the lines. So famous women had bodyguards. Murkaduk uh, uh, O'Dolly's wife, Murdoch O'Daly, that gave his name to Isabel, this O'Dolly, his wife, Euron, had a bodyguard. Mokchira, the wolf. Now, Murkaduk had a big mouth. <laughs> he was the high poet of, of, of Connacht, and of course, he, he was never short of a word, which got him into bags of bottle. But the wolf was never known to say anything. He didn't have to. You offend your man, you'd have him on your train, and he didn't yeah, want yeah, that. Yeah. He said, Today, you know, it's all in beach, song. and you have it signed on the bottle. Oh, now, I also made a note of what's yeah, on it. Oh, thank you. And you don't have to even think about this. This yeah. is oiled with linseed oil and turps, okay. which is heated okay. and soaked in. That's only done this morning. I finished the chest and I so, so, so I mean, if you put ordinary oil on that, ah. it'll still be sticky, but okay. I heat the oil right. and it just goes straight into it and you never have to do anything with it. This is the wife's um, one I did especially for the wife. Mm. I'm running out of them, so I nicked this yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. And this was done in 2003. And you oh, can well, see the difference so handling, you know, yeah, just oh, just yeah. handling, you know, as that brings up the line. Now that sycamore, this this won't change. It, it's it, it, the colour will, will remain much the same. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I think I put everything here. I can just remind you of it. That's right. Go on and so That's great to have. Carved in Skyo Beach, treated with lovely diamonds. Absolutely delighted with it. Thank you so much. It's absolutely perfect. Came out well. I'll tell you what yeah, I did. Yeah. If I imagined it myself, I could imagine it better. Well, would, would, 
wood feeds the imagination, you know. And I, I know work with the wood. Mm. I have the idea basically in the head, but I do it freehand, you know. Yeah. And what I do now, by the way, I, I do your, your favorite animal just for fun. Uh, just, to, just to start to show how it works. This is a bit of um, alder. And you can actually use it, but it's sitting on it. Because alder actually will protect oh against um, moth and everything. Not that it'll need it, but you know, it'll, it'll make a little stand for it, you know. If you like, yeah. tell me your favourite animal. Well, I have one of the ones on the right side. I've got them on the altar. An altar, I do an altar, yeah. This is... Um, now, uh, this, this, this is all there. It's one of the ancient sacred woods, and it was awful useful, you know, for um, some boxes of harps, uh, water pipes, and gutters. It doesn't rot. Your coffin, your wooden overcoat, and last time with new wood, and so on. So, uh, the otter is, is an animal that isn't on yours, no. but it's a very um, it's a very special beastly too. The dowakoo. Is the tester. In, uh, in the Anglo Saxon world, the, the dark room, the dark, the dark home is misunderstood. Uh, Churchill always thought it's, it was a symbol uh, of uh, depression, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's actually detested. Now, heroes don't become heroes unless they're tested. So, so you have to have an adversary, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And the dower pool has another purpose too. It guards the sound. Thank you. 